When you see names like Daniel Woods, Vasya Vratnikov, and John Cardwell in the lineup for the Sport Climbing Series National Championship Finals, you could be pretty sure that the SCS title is going to one of them. But this year, you'd be wrong. Enter Dark Horse Brad Weaver. Coming out of a 7th place finish in the qualifiers round, nobody was expecting this Atlanta-based coach and root setter to beat a stacked field of America's best professional climbers. That is, until Brad onsite at the men's final route. I just kind of went out there just trying to climb the route and not, not compete with everybody else so much and turned out to work out pretty well for me. Um, just a lot less pressure when you're not trying to, to stack up against that, that field, you know what I mean? Brad was the only competitor to flash the finals route, a feat that ultimately earned him the national title. Things just kind of clicked that day and it was one of those things where you're like kind of on autopilot, you don't really think about what you're doing and your body just takes over and I was at the top of the route and kind of realized I was staring at the last hold and <clears throat> told myself I better go for it and not mess it up and luckily enough stuck the last hold. Brad is relatively new to the competition circuit. This is only his second time at nationals. His first time in 2012, he didn't even make finals. Well, I didn't really compete when I was younger. I grew up in Illinois climbing and we had some local competitions and stuff, but I wasn't really aware of the USA Climbing Nationals or any of the youth competitions. So. Competing to me is kind of new. Brad's climbing career may be pretty under the radar. He's been quietly sending some of the hardest sport climbs in the country. His 2008 send of 50 words for pump, a 14C in Red River Gorge, and his second ascent of Southern Smoke 14D cemented Brad as a world-class sport climber. But he's not against spending some time off the ropes. Brad credits a lot of his sport climbing success to the skills he's picked up on the boulders. Initially growing up climbing, I was definitely more of a sport climber. Bouldering's kind of been my weakness for a long time, but then I knew if I started bouldering more, then sport routes would feel easier just because the moves would feel easier and then I could take my endurance and use that on the sport routes. For me, I think it's worked out really well because if I feel like if I can be well-rounded in both aspects, then it'll just help me in both disciplines. So what's next for the 25-year-old climber? With a national sport climbing title underneath his belt, Brad is looking to test out his bouldering skills on the international stage. His next stop is the Bouldering World Cup in Vail this June.